Okay, hey everyone, this is Fernando C. And today I want to share this scenario uh, using, usually it's older printers. Here I'm using an actual dot matrix printer. Yes, some people still use dot matrix printers for things and businesses. Uh, but the problem that I'm having is here I have the machine that is sharing the Epson LX350 printer. All right, and this little icon here tells you that it's being shared. We can verify that by going here and going to sharing, and we can see that it's sharing this printer. Uh, and the issue is that another computer, in this case it's a VM, but it doesn't have to be a VM. Uh, this VM here is trying to access that computer, that, that printer. Uh, and when you click on this and you say, you right click and you say connect, you basically get this, do not trust, do you trust this printer message? And if you tell it to install the printers, the drivers, because you do trust this, you basically get this message. Either it's going to be a Windows cannot connect this printer. You might get the prompt a second time, uh, but it essentially won't work. If you look this up online, a lot of the people tell you that it's something related to the print server's uh, GPO uh, policy. Uh, in this case, this is not set up with any type of uh, Windows server at all. This is basically just a, a workstation that's sharing it uh, a network. Uh, so it's not that that's causing it. What I figured out by doing some research online is that if I go into the registry and here I can go into local machine, current control set, control, print, environments, windows, in this case it's Windows X64 drivers, and then there there's going to be two folders, usually two, maybe more, but there's a version 3 and version 4, and then there you can look for the actual printer. In my case, this is the printer here. Okay, and uh, then once we can we we find the printer, we need to modify this printer driver attributes. In this case, it's set to zero, so I'm going to double click on it, and instead of zero, I'm going to set it to one. All right. So once I set that to one, then I can close this. All right, and this was on the on the machine that's sharing the printer. That's where I made that change. Okay, so now. I need to go into the print spooler. So I can type in services here. That takes me to this window. And in here, I basically need to reset the print spooler. So I can click once in here, press P on the keyboard, it takes me to all the P items. And then in here it says print spooler. So I need to reset it, so I need to stop it. I right click and I say stop. And then after that, I can right click on it again and say start. So now that this is reset, now I can go over here again. And I can right click on the same exact printer. I can say connect. And then now instead of getting that error message, then it'll just simply install the print drivers. Now that it installed the print drivers, I can go here, click on control panel, click here, and I can see that the printer is now installed. Okay, so I hope that was a quick tip for someone out there who gets stuck with this do not trust or do you trust message. And um, and you can get around it by doing this. If you like this, this type of content, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.